everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best free 92 overall team captains to upgrade and add to your Mutt 25 squad. The team captain field pass and Mutt 25 today got a pretty big update, not in the form of like a title update or anything, but new content into the game. Football's family stuff is out. The cards aren't good enough for me to make an entire video dedicated on it, but the team captain field pass did get updated. And if you go into it now, there's two things that were added. Number one, we have new objectives under the team captain section that you can complete to earn more XP. And of course, the XP within this is going to earn you more team captain upgrade tokens. So we didn't get any new players added in. You still have the same 10 players available. But now with these players and the new tokens, you are able to upgrade them to a full max of a 92 OVR. We're going to go through all of the team captains and talk about the best ones to upgrade. With the addition of the new tokens and the new OVR upgrades, fully maxing out the players to a 92 OVR can give them times three on any theme team cam. And if my math is correct, with the tokens that are available, and of course all of the players that are available, you should be able to upgrade one player fully to a 92 and a second player fully to an 86. The player at the 92 OVR can get times three chem for any team. You can go with three different team chems. You can go two and one. You can mix and match the way you want. And with the 86 OVR, I believe you can get times two chem or one and one of any two team chems of your choice. So a lot of flexibility when it comes to building building a theme team and this is really important now because not only did we get an update on the team captain field pass and being able to upgrade these players but also a big change to team chemistries so if you go into your lineup screen go over to the chemistry tab and i will be dropping a video very very soon going over the best updated theme teams in the game but if you take a look here i rock a hybrid team right now of eagles and lions you can actually get your theme team of choice now all the way up to a tier 8 or 4 40 of 40 which will give them plus one speed at 20 and an additional plus one speed at 40 so we now can get plus two speed on any theme team player in the game this is really important because a month from now or a month from a couple days ago the rank session number four will be coming to an end and if you can make it to the legend division and i'm assuming again based off of what we've seen with the prior rank sessions you don't have to be in the top 100 if you literally just get to the legend division the reward is a 95 overall chris johnson would stock 97 speed so because because I'm really good at math, that means this card, if it's on a theme team, which it gets all 32 team chemistries, can get that plus two speed at a 40-40 theme team and jump them up to 99 speed. We are going to have a 99 speed running back in the game come January 1st. I can't say I'm a big fan of the quick progression that we're going from December to January as far as the speed rating goes, but we'll see how the Zero Chill promo and all of the team builder stuff that's coming out this week, we'll see how it all plays out. But back to the topic at hand let's talk about the best free 92 overall team captains like i said we're gonna go through all of them we will start with the ones that i think you should not really upgrade but i want to show you all the options so we got punter sean landetta all of the attributes you're gonna see are without any theme team boosts on them by the way so i think this card will be a good upgrade way way down the road at the end of the year when you're trying to build a different theme team and you can get a times three or maybe even times four down the road punter on a theme team there that could help towards getting a 40 40 on maybe two different teams or if you're trying to go like 40 20 20 but i'm spending too much time on this card it's absolutely not worth upgrading same thing's going to go for joe staley number one because we got about 70 different left tackles in the game and a couple of them have been free and this card just isn't that great at a 92 ovr left tackle 89 strength 87 awareness 89 pass block three of the main four attributes in my opinion for offensive line not even in the 90s and then even the one that is run block is at a 90 and that's all coming off of a 92 ovr card definitely not a fan of this one mike tolbert actually isn't a bad card and fullback is one of those positions where it's going to be hard to get theme teams of your choice out there you have the season one field pass mike allstock card you might still have that card at fullback one or two for your theme team to be able to get a times three or times two plus times one on your fullback fully upgraded mike tolbert's actually not bad but i think there's just much better choices out there but fully upgraded 91 speed 
speed, 84 strength, 87 run block, 88 lead block. Not a bad card. And I think also, you know, 81 catch rating isn't terrible, but he could be a receiving threat out of the backfield for you as well. And he does get half back as a secondary chemistry position or secondary position. And then the final one that I don't think is worth upgrading is going to be Jason Witten. Again, we just have too many 90 speed tight ends out there. He does give you a decent run block at 80, but there was like a free welcome pack Gronk out there that has better run block than this one. 89 speed, six foot six is decent. His short and mid route running are in the 90s. His catch rating isn't in the 90s. I feel like he, he's good at a lot of things, but he's not great at anything. And when you can only upgrade one of these players to the max of a 92, he is not going to be worth it. Now on to some actual good cards. The first one up is going to be Troy Vincent. Just want you to take a look at the attributes here on this card and then compare them to his 92 overall on Madden card. Uh, it's very rare of EA to do this, but the free card is actually better than the card you would have to go out and spend coin on. So really the big difference here, because they both have 91 speed, 92 acceleration, the biggest difference is that Troy Vincent's team captain card is 90 plus on both man and zone coverage, so he can fit both type of schemes. He gets the 90 plus threshold on man and zone coverage. And if you like to mix up your defense a little bit, that's going to be a usable card for you on a theme team. He'll go up to 93 speed at the cornerback position. That's pretty good. We got a bunch of stock 92 speed guys there, even at 92 uh, speed on a, you know, a, a 20 of 40 theme team. I still think he's okay to put out on the field. Overall, a good card slot archetype. So you can play him at CB three or four, but he is six foot one. So I think he's safe to play on the outside. Probably not my top choice, but definitely a good one. If you want to upgrade your offensive line, unlike the Joe Staley card, this Jeff Saturday at center is actually really good. Now you have much better choices out there, so you're probably not going to wait want to waste them on the center position, but fully upgraded Jeff Saturday, 91 strength, 92 awareness, 93 pass block, only 87 run block. So if you run the ball a ton, this card's not for you, and he is 295 pounds. I Ideally, you, you know, you would like to have a little bit more weight at the center position. But overall, I, I kind of like this one. And I think down the road, he could be a good usage of team captain tokens. We're down to the final four. And these are going to be the best four, in my opinion. First up, we have Jason Elam. So you get 92 kick power, only 86 kick accuracy on this one. But I talk about it all the time. You just never know when you're going to need a kicker. Those late end of half field goals or late game field goals to win it all can come in clutch and to have a guy with 92 kick power and give you up to times three of any team chemistry of your choice is huge and i think most importantly he gets the zen kicker ability for 2ap which slow down slows down your kick meter on all kicks 45 yards and up and if you don't really feel like you need that he also can't be iced for 3 AP. You got to pick one or the other, but you can have one or the other here. Uh, you can basically become immune to the ice kicker effect with that ability. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but he does get it. So really good abilities, really good kick power, and you get all 32 team chems on Jason Elam. I feel like Gerald McCoy might be the most slept on team captain out of all of them. Really like the combination of everything he's getting. Power rusher archetype, but you can get him up to 88 speed at defensive tackle with 92 acceleration because you get the plus two on each of those for a 40-40 theme team. The strength would bump up to 94 on a full theme team. 91 tackle, 90 block shed, 90 power move. His finesse move is really low, but two of the big three pass rushing attributes at a 90 plus with really good speed and strength. Like I said, I feel like a lot of people are going to sleep on this card. Unfortunately, with his block shed being 90 and not 91, he's going to miss out on getting inside stuff for 2 AP. But down the road, this card's going to be even better when they allow us to upgrade him further. Uh, next one up, Manti Teo. So if you're looking for a user linebacker and you're going to user that player 100% of the time, this is a really good card. On a non-20 or 40 theme team, you're getting stock 92 speed. He's six foot one. 96 acceleration is really high. 92 tackle, 90 hit power. What he doesn't have, uh, you know, what he's not great at, block shed only 85. That's going to be a little bit tough against the run. And the 78 zone coverage is not good at all. That's why I said, if you're going to use her this card, you're going to need to do it 100% of the time. I wouldn't trust him in coverage with that 78 zone. But you get him on a full theme team, you're looking at 94 speed 
and 98 acceleration at six foot one, and he gets Lurk Artist for one AP. This is a really good card. If you're on a budget and you need a user, I would definitely think about upgrading this card to the Max 92 OVR. And I think everybody would probably agree the best one is going to be Pat Tillman, mainly because he's giving you that 93 sock speed, which is obviously incredible. 93 zone is great. 87 man, he gets Pick Artist for two AP, which is really good on defensive backs. 93 hit power, 85 tackle, 91 acceleration. He can pretty much do it all. Now he is only five foot eleven that's the downside but with pick artists that's going to be much much more helpful and on a full theme team you can do the math here 95 speed 93 acceleration would make him extremely good and i think a great high coverage safety especially when it feels like you know outside of like kirby joseph we kind of have a lack of strong safeties i thought john lynch would be coming from the all madden promo and that is no longer happening maybe they scrapped that card because they knew they were upgrading team captains and pat tillman would be one of the best choices out there but for my money i think you know those final four we talked about and depending on what you need to upgrade what your positions of need are are on your mutt squad uh tillman manti teo gerald mccoy and jason elam are definitely going to be the top four out there let me know what player you guys are going to upgrade after watching this video leave it down below in the comment section and thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace